hello <clears throat> welcome to lives in sync my name is amber this is the reading for virgo during the time of december 1st through 15th i have pre-shuffled and laid out the cards in your spread virgo um i do hope that this message does resonate with you in any way. Um, and we can get started on the reading. So, your overall message today is the Queen of Pentacles, which is definitely you. You are the Mother Earth sign, the nurturer, the... Taking care of family and home and everyone who needs you is definitely you, Virgo. But I'm getting a different read on this card this time. That this is about you. Coming out of yourself. Letting go of control and that need to create that home life and take care of people and focus on yourself. That's what I'm getting is the overall reading. That this is about you more than about you what you can do for others so i see that at the present moment that there is someone offering love to you it could be a water sign which is a cancer scorpio or pisces But I feel as though you're not accepting it. You're not accepting this love offer and it's not because you don't want to. Maybe I feel like you it's not in your best interest. At the moment, your challenge or obstacle is that I feel that you've tried with this relationship. You have tried many times. You almost feel like you've done too much, that you've beat a dead horse, so they say. And you need to create some balance between yourself and the outside world because you've given so much and received so little, I'm hearing. <clears throat> and that's your challenge is to create that balance again with you and the world, so to, so to speak. In your recent past, I see that you've let go. I'm seeing this water sign again. That you've forgiven. You're not angry. That you've forgiven this person. Or if it's not a water sign, you you have practiced forgiveness. And become strong in your emotions. You've taken control over your emotions. And you're more mature and wiser. Or more wise, excuse me, from this experience. Maybe because you've talked to someone that is a really good listener and supportive 
that could be for some of you. In the immediate future, I see you facing the unknown or breaking through the illusions that you created for yourself. Um, and not illusions, more like you making excuses for other people not doing what they're supposed to do for you. Thank you, Spirit. That's what I get from that. And I feel like it's mostly in love. In love, people are not doing what they need for you. They're not giving what they need to give to you. There's always a delay. There's always a reason. For why this is not happening. The movement isn't happening. The change isn't happening that you need. And you are getting enlightenment in this dark. In this illusion this fear that you've had you are receiving that enlightenment about your relationship life and in your hopes I just see you spending time with people who love you, friends and family, things like that. Being single, not thinking about love, enjoying yourself. Your strength is that you are able to move on from this betrayal or these thoughts of being betrayed by someone or these people in the past and you're able to move on from this it's helping you move on from this now uh for your fears your fears are that you're stuck in a cycle or that you will be stuck in some sort of cycle where you're always giving, showing that you can ride the wave or have the, the strength, the test of faith, and not receiving that same passion back. That is your biggest fear. Your weakness is, which is funny, Virgo, your weakness is your sensitivity, your nurturing ways, your expression of feeling. When you love someone or care for someone, Virgo, you give a hundred percent, like your emotion, you give your emotion and your your everything you share with them you you start to build with a person as all earth signs do from the moment you find a person that you want to be with and it's because you you do it out of love and compassion, and you're also a little restless. You just want to get the party started, <laughs> as they will say. And that is a weakness for you. In your environment... I 
I see you standing in your truth now. This has given you a newfound authority. Or it could be an air sign. Um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. That's showing you how to be authoritative if that's a word um strong uh solid But I feel like it's more you wanting clarity and someone is giving it to you and it's a burden to them. It's a lot of work. But they're trying to give you clarity or you're asking for clarity from this person. And then your outcome, I see you being the master of your emotions. You are in control, Virgo. You are in control of your emotions. You are healing from whatever happened to you there's hope there and inspiration and renewal you feel on top of the world you have everything you need you can make anything happen you are the magician you this outcome is lovely I mean, this reading is Phoenix rising from the ashes personified. Like, it is. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, Virgos, because I know how hard that is for you all. I mean, you are really strong, but standing back from someone that you love or cared about is really hard for you all. Because you just love so deeply. And this car flew out. The angels want you to know this. Definitely. And it is the yin. From the wisdom of the oracle deck. Yin is letting someone else make the first move. Gathering information and taking in cues. The art of conscious knowing. So I'm going to read the oracle message and the relationship message in case that this is regarding a particular relationship with that water sign that I was discussing. Um, or just an overall energy if it's just people that you're walking or not excuse me, not walking away from, but taking a break from. So the oracle message is, this is a time of calculated receptivity. As you gracefully await what is coming to you, ready to accept it when it appears, 
Yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you. Poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. Yes. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper. And you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. Yes, Virgo. Yes. You are releasing that control. You are releasing that control so you can finally receive what the abundance that is due to you you always give you always give and it's time for you to receive yes in relationships let others take the lead right now yes your power lies in small gestures soft awareness and conscious surrender surrender by yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised. Yes, Virgo, yes. People have to prove themselves to you. You have already proven yourself time and time again. And it's time to make a change. It's time to make a change and stand in this. You, oh, that's beautiful. Stand in this, Virgo. Stand in this. You have everything you need. Your outcome, oh, your outcome is strong in your emotions. You don't need anyone. You are steady. You are above this. You are above, sitting on top of the water. You have hope and rejuvenation and renewal here. For That's something new. And the magician is power personified. It is, you have control. You have everything you need. Oh, you have everything you need to be successful. You are whole, Virgo. You are a whole person. You don't need anyone. You have no need for anyone. It's time for you to realize, yes, it's time for you to realize that who you put in your life now needs to be someone that you can have, build a team. That it has to be teamwork. You have to come together, find that balance. Because the old ways are not working. They're not working. This is beautiful. Yes, Virgo. Yes. You find that. You, oh, thank you, Spirit. That was beautiful. I'm going to end it there because I'm just going to keep repeating the same thing because I'm so excited about it. But. Thank you so much for watching my first YouTube video or first reading for Virgo. I'm so excited to be able to give insight to the world through YouTube. It's really exciting. And I plan on doing readings the first half of the month for the 1st through the 15th and the mid-month, which is the 15th to the end of the month. I also do a true love, twin flame, soulmate reading once a month. And remember that these this is a general reading. So if it didn't resonate with you or you need a little bit more insight 
on your particular situation, I will be happy to do a personal reading for you. Uh, I have a link at the in the description box at the bottom of the video. Uh, while you're there at my website, if you choose to go there, I do have a blog. You may find something that help you along your path. I do uh, talk about several different things, so just check it out. If this message resonated with you in any way, please feel free to hit the like button on the video, share, or subscribe. I'm so grateful for any support or your support. I do want to thank the universe for bringing you here. And until next time, love and light. Bye-bye.